For the American Civil Rights Movement, there were many pivotal moments when grassroots efforts gained power and paved the way for lasting change. Today, we're counting down the biggest civil rights turning points in every decade. The 20th century kicked off with the formation of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, known as the NAACP, in 1909, and by the 1920s, they were a leading voice in the civil rights movement. The NAACP championed the New Negro Movement of the 1920s, which promoted a sense of racial pride, cultural self-expression, economic independence, and progressive politics in black communities. Soon, they became the largest civil rights association of the era, lobbying against policies that were discriminatory based on race and fighting against hate. In 1915, the NAACP rallied for the boycott of the film Birth of a Nation, which glorified the KKK. By the end of the 1920s, the NAACP had over 325 branches nationwide, and 100 years later, they remain one of the most influential civil rights groups in existence. The Great Depression gripped the country in the 1930s, and American workers needed a voice to demand fair treatment. Thanks to FDR's New Deal, the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938 helped pave the way for better conditions for American workers by setting regulations for child labor, minimum wage, overtime pay, and more. Up to this point, most labor laws were set by individual state governments, but the FLSA established regulations that were applicable nationwide. These laws are still in place to help protect workers today. The U.S. military was central to the fight against fascism in World War II, and once the war was won, attention turned to bringing equality to the ranks. President Truman's Executive Order 9981 of 1948 ordered equal treatment and opportunity for members of the military, as well as integrated the previously segregated ranks. Despite opposition from Southern senators, Truman pushed the bill through, stating, there shall be equality of treatment and opportunity for all persons in the armed services without regard to race, color, religion, or national origin. By the end of the Korean War five years later, nearly the entire military had been integrated. In 1954, the country was forever changed by the landmark Supreme Court case known as Brown versus Board of Education. The class action case led by NAACP lawyers received a unanimous verdict from the court that racial segregation of children in public school was unconstitutional and that education services that were separate but equal were in fact not equal at all. Though a monumental win for civil rights and the education system, many southern states were not receptive of the new laws guaranteeing equality in schools. Their aggressive antagonism sparked a series of conflicts that would eventually lead to a massive movement to achieve civil rights and equality. As the 1950s turned to the 60s, the country was at the crest of a movement that would cascade into the passing of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Called a second emancipation by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the Civil Rights Act ended segregation in all public places and ended employment discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Originally proposed by President John F. Kennedy and signed into law by President Lyndon B. Johnson, the act was opposed by many Southern senators who held the longest Senate filibuster in history to try to block the law. Despite the opposition, the bill passed, making history and permanently changing the country for the better. Signed into law by President Nixon on the very first day of the decade, the National Environmental Policy Act of 1970 not only made positive changes for the environment, but had a lasting impact on civil rights as well. NEPA requires that federal agencies make impact statements widely available to the public to assess the environmental effects of proposed actions prior to making decisions. This access to information allowed climate activists to hold the government accountable, delay projects they thought were harmful, or sue companies if they didn't comply with the law and properly disclose impacts. Not to mention, it also led to the creation of the most wholesome American holiday, Earth Day. Now go hug a tree. 
In the late 80s, the hair was high, the shoulder pads were wide, and the Fair Housing Act needed to be amended. The Fair Housing Act had been made law as part of the Civil Rights Act of 1968, outlawing discrimination in the sale or rental of housing, and in 1988, amendments were added to strengthen the law. The Fair Housing Amendments Act provided a way for those who felt they had been unlawfully discriminated against to have their claims properly heard and investigated by the Department of Housing and Urban Development. While there is still work to be done in this area, laws against discrimination are only good if they can be properly enforced, and this act aimed to do just that. After a decades-long movement fighting for equality for individuals with disabilities, the American Disabilities Act, a.k.a. the ADA, became law in 1990. ADA prohibits discrimination against people with disabilities in all areas of public life, ensures that they have the same rights and opportunities as everyone else, mandates buildings and business facilities meet accessibility standards, and much more. The passing of the act was the result of grassroots advocacy groups who challenged social norms throughout the 80s. The impact of these activists is still still felt today as our world strives to become truly accessible to all. Signed into law by President Obama in the first year of his first term, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act of 2009 overturned a prior Supreme Court decision restricting the time period for filing discrimination complaints regarding fair pay. The act required employers to keep better records and ensure that their pay practices were not discriminatory on the basis of race, color, sex, national origin, or religion. It also allowed individuals to file charges of alleged pay discrimination at any time, meaning that victims could retroactively file claims for past offenses. Though the wage gap still exists to an extent today, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act gives individuals an opportunity to seek justice whenever necessary, and its influence carries on through today. Marriage equality went federal in 2015 when the Supreme Court issued a landmark ruling in Obergefell v. Hodges. The ruling affirmed that state-level bans on same-sex marriage were unconstitutional, making same-sex marriage legal on a federal level. The ruling's foundation was based on the 14th Amendment's guarantee that all citizens should have equal protection of the laws, and also declared that same-sex couples were no longer to be denied federal benefits, such as joint tax filing, spousal immigration sponsorship, or spousal social security benefits. Joyful reactions to the passing of the law all across the country exclaimed that love is love is love is joint filing your taxes. Following the swell of support for the Black Lives Matter movement spurred by the wave of protests in response to the murder of George Floyd, congressional Democrats brought the Justice and Policing Act to the House in June 2020. The bill addresses a range of policies surrounding policing practices, as well as law enforcement accountability, and proposed the creation of the National Police Misconduct Registry. The Democratic bill quickly passed in the House, but is currently stalled and has not been taken up by the Senate. Only time will tell whether this particular bill will pass into law. But one thing is clear, the American people want to see change. What a list. We told you this was some life-changing stuff. We feel like this might be a good time to reread the Constitution. You know, for fun. Until next time, remember that you have President Nixon to thank for Earth Day. Now, like I said earlier, if you haven't already, go hug a tree.